Hey, if you haven't heard yet, Kajabi just released a bunch of new features, including the universal inbox, which includes comment to DM. Now I'm Chelsea and I'm a Kajabi expert. I'm here to share with you the details in how to actually get this set up. So if you're interested in doing this, you want to make sure that you do have a Facebook business page. A personal page will not work. So have a Facebook business page. You're also going to want to have something to give to your people when they comment. So if someone comments on your Instagram page or your Facebook page and you want to send them a link, you can do that. If you want to send them a checkout page, you can do that. And if you want to send them to a landing page, like an opt-in page to you know, download a freebie from you, you can connect that as well. Now, before I dig into how to actually get this set up, I want to let you know about our Unstuck Me Club. This is where I help Kajabi users like you get unstuck in all of these little tech things that are going on. So if you need help during any of this setup or really anything in Kajabi, jump into our club and that's where we'll be able to give you some, uh, some help directly from us experts. Now to get started, we're going to be inside our Kajabi account and from the dashboard, you're going to head over to the marketing section. You're going to see a new feature, universal inbox here. It may or may not say beta, depending whether or not it's come out of beta when you watch this video. Uh, but head over there and it's going to give you the uh, message to connect your channel. So we're going to connect either your Facebook or Instagram or you can connect both. But make sure that your Facebook is a business page and not a personal account. It will not connect personal accounts. It has to be a business page. So have that set up and logged in already. Um, I did mine on a different tab here so I can ensure that I don't get an error message and then have to go and set it up. So. Facebook business page, get that logged in, and then go ahead and hit connect, and some little things are gonna happen in the background. You may not see this exact same screen as me because I've already done this setup before. It's already has some type of connection already happening, so you might get a different message, don't worry. Just follow the instructions for whatever it gives you. It's basically granting permission to allow Facebook to communicate to your Kajabi account. So again, don't be alarmed if you see something different than what came up on my screen. It's hard to replicate the initial stages in a video if I've already done the connection uh, previously when I was doing testing. So just, uh, you'll be fine uh, following the messages that you see on your screen. So I'm just gonna do Facebook for the purpose of this video, but you're welcome to connect your Instagram as well. All right, once that's done, you're gonna have your universal inbox here and it will likely be empty. Again, I was doing testing, therefore there's something in mine already, but yours will be blank and there's nothing else to really do on this page. But the next step is to set up your comment to DM automation. Now this is done in the automations area. So that comment to DM is basically a conversation from Facebook and uh, you're now into your Kajabi account. So instead of having to go do it in Facebook, and having many chat to connect it, you can now just do it straight in Kajabi. So how that works is in your automations area, if this is the first time you've come in here, you are going to get a message to just set up your first one. So I've already been doing some in here, so I'm just gonna go and start a new automation. We have some preset automations here to kind of help you get started. So you don't have to do this from scratch, which is really nice. So we're gonna grab this Facebook to comment conversation and so it visually lays out all of the steps for this automation, which is really nice. You don't really have to put any effort into thinking this through. Just follow through each of these three steps to get them customized to what you would like. So the first step is that when someone creates a comment or posts a comment, where are they gonna put this comment on what page and what post? So that's what this page is about. So the Facebook page, you're gonna go ahead and select the Facebook page that we're setting this up for. Then you're gonna select a post. So let's say for example, it was my uh, pricing video post that I just did the other day. If you didn't hear about it, Kajabi has increased their prices. <laughs> so I've got a whole video on that, you can go watch it. Uh, and I'm gonna say that if you comment the word um, awesome, then you're gonna get a message from me. So you can set this up where you can comment any, any word you want and then the automation will start. So it's like your trigger. What word do you want it to be triggered? So you could say any comment, but I don't necessarily recommend that because then um, you're not doing, you're not creating this specific action. So you want people to read your post and comment the word that you ask them to comment. So in this case, I'm just gonna use the word awesome. So I'm gonna hit specific keywords down here and I'll type in the word awesome. You can exclude words. I'm not really sure what I would exclude. So, um, but it's there if you need it. 
go ahead and hit save. Then you go into the next step here. And what message do you want Facebook to send that person in the DM after they have made that comment of awesome? So you can customize that here. Um, so again, you could have it like a response of just like, thanks for your message, we'll get back to you. So if you want it to be on every single comment, you could. Um, but in this case, let's just pretend that I want them to get one of my freebies, which is one of the most common ways to use this comment to DM is to deliver a freebie to get people to sign up for your email list. Because the whole point is to get them off of your Facebook or Instagram and get them into your inbox. So to send a, uh, send a Facebook direct message to them, I could say, um, I don't know, you can say thanks or whatever, but here's your freebie checklist. I'll just say check your free, your free checklist. Hope it helps you. Whatever, you can say whatever you want. I'm not really gonna worry about those details for this video. And then you have the option, you're gonna send them to a landing page, so an existing Kajabi landing page you already have. So in this case, it would be your opt-in page that you've set up to collect their email address and their name and to do the rest of the funnel where they will end up getting an email and whatnot. So the landing page would probably be the most common uh, choice. Uh, I personally don't have any landing pages in my test site that I can set up here. So um, there's also a checkout page. So if you wanted them to actually purchase something, so if you've invited them to an actual paid offer, then you would send them direct to the checkout. And custom link. So this is where you'd put any link whatsoever. So in this case, um, you could send them outside of Kajabi if you really wanted to. But ideally, you would want to have them complete that form so that you can give them their freebie and, um, and provide them uh, or bring them into your email list, actually. Now, if you wanted to give them the freebie without collecting their email or their name or anything, you just wanted to give it away for free just because, then you could just put the URL here of the actual freebie download itself. So the PDF file, you could just put it there. Now to figure out how to get the link for that file, there's two ways you could do it. You could put it in like an external cloud platform like um, Box or Dropbox or, or Google Drive or something and grab that link, that share link. You could put that share link in there and then that will give them access. Alternatively, you could upload your file to Kajabi and get the link from there. So to do that, you would just create a landing page and just like a totally blank landing page and you would put a CTA button on it and then link that CTA button to your file. So you do uh, like upload a file or attach a file. And then once you've uploaded that, you can just right click on the button, which gives you the menu to save that link. So you'll just basically copy the link from the button, which gives you a link to the PDF file itself. So the link to access it from inside your Kajabi account. Then once you have that link, you can come back here and you can pop it into this URL here, this custom URL section. And then they will get the PDF just by clicking the button. And of course you're gonna need to put your button here, download now, get your freebie, whatever words you wanna put on there is fine. Um, so I'm just gonna throw in a random link just so I can continue going. And uh, yeah, so you're gonna hit save on that. And then our last section here, this is the comment that is going to come as a reply to their original comment. So I asked them to comment awesome. What am I gonna say back to them? You could say up to 10 different things and it's gonna just randomly choose one. So if you want every single reply to be the exact same thing, then just put one. But if you wanted to put more than one, then you can go ahead and edit it. So I could say um, your free checklist is on its way, oops, check your DM. So, okay, you put whatever you want in there, go ahead and hit save on that step. That's it for setting it up, but we do need to make sure we hit save up top here in the right, this is super easy to miss. And then the last thing before anything's even gonna work, you need to turn it on, all right? So it does not automatically publish, like a lot of things in Kajabi, it, it, the default is published, but in this case, Published is not um, the default, so it's gonna have to, you're gonna have to do that manually. But now it's published, I can hit save, and the automation is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to log into 
my personal account so that I can go make the comment on the business page so I can show you how it works. All right, here is the post that we set up the automation for. So what we're gonna do is drop a comment with the keyword. Okay, so we've got the comment there. It is posting, it's gonna take a minute for Kajabi and for Facebook to kind of do its thing to run the automation. Um, but we are going to head out of the automations area back into the universal's inbox so that we can go and see the message. Here we go, we have a new message. You can see it with the red dot and you're gonna see a few test messages here. Uh, but here is the most recent message is here's your free checklist. That's the one that we just set up. Hope it, oops, I forgot my ass. Hope it helps you. Um, and then we uh, have the attachment which basically is the button. So this is a little bit of a Kajabi needs to fix this. Um, that should show the button on itself, but not a big deal uh, right now. Like it, it is in beta, so there's gonna be a few things they gotta fix up. If we head back over to the post and we just do a quick little refresh on the original post. Now you see that we have a, uh, a comment here. Don't worry that there's two of them being sent. Um, I, do, I do have another automation running, which is why there's two of them, both of them running on the same word. So um, basically, yeah, it, you can have it reply whatever you want to let them know that it is being sent off to their uh, inbox. Now you have to be careful because uh, Facebook has some restrictions with how many times that you can comment on a post so you want to be careful with that and that you don't get banned from commenting in your um, commenting too fast so just be aware of that is a potential issue um, but yeah in general everything is pretty straightforward to set up you can customize all of your messages however you want you can use this in so many different ways to be able to create that engagement but most importantly try to bring your audience off of the social platforms and bring them into kajabi you're going to want to have them fill out that form to uh, opt into your email list and bring them into your ecosystem or even really just do direct sales right you can just sell with your uh checklist and uh, sell you sort sell with your offer rather and then, yeah, you don't even have to bring them to a sales page or anything if your audience is already uh, warmed from all of your social. So there's lots of different possibilities here. The setup, as you can see, is really, really simple. Now, if you wanna see more feature walkthroughs just like this, jump over to this playlist here where I have all of the new stuff from Kajabi. You can also come join us in the Unstuck Me Club. The link is in the description. We can help you get unstuck with really anything in Kajabi. So hope to see you there.